So this is a Zara residency. So it's an apartment block here in a Rascal Zone. And they seem to have air conditioning as well. It seems to be very So I want to tell you a little bit about the plant you're seeing right behind me. Now this is actually the sisal plant. It's actually, in my opinion, one of the unofficial symbols of the Tanga region because so it's the Tanga regional referral hospital at to work. <laughs> Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and today I'm back in the beautiful coastal city of Tanga. Now we'll be exploring more of this beautiful city. The last time when I was here we went to Rasco Zone but I felt I didn't give you justice or do you justice in showing you more of what the area has to offer. So we'll be exploring more today so you will get valuable and important insights to this particular section here in Tanga City. So if you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni Tanzania. Okay guys, so just at the end of Swahili Street, or Imtawa Swahili, you'll find this beautiful park here and it's a nice chill place, really Meant well maintained and put together and you know sometimes you can just come here relax if you're into reading you can come and read or you could just enjoy the beautiful atmosphere here with the amazing palm trees that has been grown here so it's really lovely they even got other trees like there's a mango tree over there it's a real lovely vibe and I really like this introduction before you go further into the rascal zone area so thumbs up to tanga for this actually you know these kinds of places really adds more charm to the city and it's inviting for people who are visiting most definitely who values being in the park and different things like that so this is a vibe here it's not that big but especially during the heat that we experience here during the day it's good you can come in a place where it has like a bench here under the shade of the mango tree. It's really, it's really nice when you can experience that from the heat. So yeah, this is where we're going to start the walk today before we go further in. So I just wanted you guys to see what it's like. Very, very much popular with the locals. You even get students here after school. Different people come around here and just really enjoy the vibe here. So I'm, I'm really liking this this section here in town really beautiful and yeah we'll be exploring more so we're heading on to hospital road because we will find the hospital and so I want to tell you a little bit about the plant you're seeing right behind me now this is actually the sisal plant it's actually in my opinion one of the unofficial symbols of the Tanga region because once upon a time Tanga produced over 250,000 tons of sisal per year they were actually one of the largest producers of the sisal plant in the world once upon a time. Now the plant was introduced in the Tanga region by Dr. Richard Heindorf from Germany. He was a botanist from Germany in the year 1892. Now it was a long journey because originally the plant came from Mexico in the Yukon area in Mexico and he, they sent over 1,000 plants to Tanzania. However, only 62 plants of the sisal plant survived. However, the fertile grounds here in Tanga prove definitely worthwhile because the plants thrived here and millions were grown in this region. So this is the sisal plant and this is what it looks like. Now it is used for making 
the fiber of the plant is used for making of course things like ropes people use it for making uh, other things like sandals and different things like that however with the emergence of synthetics synthetic fiber the decline of uh, sisal went down in the 19 50s but nevertheless the region still produce sisal to some extent and this is what the plant looks like and there's a building right behind me which is geared towards the management of the sisal production here in Tanga so this is the sisal land sisalana corporation limited and they deal with the sisal production here in the Tanga region, one of the companies here. And you can see they have the sisal plant right in front of their building, which symbolizes, symbolizes the work that they deal with. And that's with the sisal plant. Now, all in not only different parts of Tanga, you had sisal plantation, even in the last episode where we when we traveled to Pangani, Pangani region that side, they also used to have sisal plantations. So it was quite a popular means of uh, people earning and earning a living once upon a time and there are still plantations throughout the Tanga region. However, it's not as large as how it used to be a long time ago. So this is the Safi Medics and here you can do things like x-ray, ultrasound, they have a lab laboratory here and they deal with, you know, things like childbirth and different things happen at this building. So we're going to be coming up to the Bombo Hospital in a minute so you'll get a clear view and a vibe of what the place is like. And I believe one of my subscribers, Dada Zainab, had said they used to live around the Bombo area near the hospital. So I think they'll be happy to see this video today. So one of the reasons why I was saying earlier, you'll find a lot of tourists like this side of town, Rasco Zone. Well, one of the things you find is there are a lot of hotels around here, like the one you're seeing in front of me. Well, the billboard which advertises the Regal Nivera Hotel, and you can see the rooms are self-contained. They offer bed and breakfast, multiple channels, TV, and also Wi-Fi is included. Now, the hotel, of course, is heading down this road here, and they have a billboard advertising their services. So you can see, these are some of the, one of the hotels that's in the area. And another reason is, it's very near town, okay? The, this location is ideal if you're really trying to go to the city, and you may be traveling to other places, so you need to catch the inner city bus at a particular time, so you want to be near the city center. Then Rasco Zone is an ideal place, so you get a lot of people who travel to this region staying in this area and in terms of safety it's a safe it's a safe area safety is 10 10 of course at night as with anywhere in the world you do have to exercise a certain level of precaution but it's generally safe here it's a beautiful structure here i believe this is a guest house a hotel So those buses that you're seeing that we're coming up to, these are the Dala Dala. And they're a bit smaller than the ones you'll see in Dar es Salaam. And for anyone who's been to Trinidad and Tobago before, 
These dollar dollar looks like the maxi taxis that you will find in Port of Spain. So from here, Rasco Zone to the, the city center here in Tanga, it'll, it'll cost you around 400 Tanzanian shillings. So really inexpensive to be honest. So, and they come quite frequently. So which is really good if you're trying to really move around the area. And you have a lot of uh, these stalls set up here selling different things from water, juices, they also have um, impesa services, fruits and in the evening you'll find people coming out selling things like tea, chapatis and soup and different things like that. So you always have people around. So it's not like an isolated place, you know. So we're coming up to the hospital right now. Different people are waiting to be served and go in for whatever reason they they're here for so it's the tanga regional referral hospital i had to walk fast there's a vehicle coming so this is what it looks like from the uh outside This is the hospital here, and it's also known as the Bombo Hospital. And what you will find is right next to the hospital, you have border border guys, right outside. So if you ever need any kind of transport, it's certainly available. So you can see this fence we have here, this, this is still part of the hospital, fencing around the hospital and it's quite huge, the hospital, very large. I'm loving the mango trees and the coconut trees you see on the way when you're traveling here. Like I was saying, um, Rascal's own do has a bit of a rural feel to it in comparison to the other section of town. That's where most of the locals live. And starting from 1st Street, go right up 18th Street and further afield, you'll get more of the locals living that section of town. So. Here is a bit more quieter in comparison to Nagamene and the other side of town. And it's much more, 
you will find much more trees it's much more green in this section of town in comparison to the other section So we're coming up to a football field and one of the things I've noticed here in Tanzania and one of the things you will notice when you visit here, football is one of the most popular sport of choice for the locals here in Tanzania. Americans call it soccer, right? And whenever a, a, a match is on, you'll find a lot of people in the bars, the pubs, watching the game. They even follow the, the English Premier League. They follow international football and they also have their own teams as well in this side of town. So this is a secondary school here. This is a sneak peek of what it looks like. Some kids are playing over there. And this is the vibe here in the secondary. So as I follow the road along, this will lead me on to that Rascal's own beach. Now it's not like a huge beach in comparison to what you'll find maybe in the Caribbean or Miami or nothing like that. It basically used to be kind of a mangrove area and over the years they've cleared away the mangrove and there's a bit of um, kind of like sand and obviously small strip of land and then the water is there where people can go and have a swim but it's not it's not very large so you can't do anything like a long walk on the beach at the rascal's own beach so that's one thing you gotta be mindful of when you do visit but nevertheless it's a very popular area for the locals to come especially every sunday people with their families and everything like that and it's quite a calm and chill vibe, you know. Nice place to socialize, meet people. So for that reason, that's what makes it even more charming and more special. Now as we walk the road, you'll notice many trees, greenery, different colors. Now Tanga is also known for producing some of the country's finest quality of cement. So you do have uh, cement factories in the region. This is a bar. It's closed right now. But they do have like 
a seating area, you can get drinks and different things like that there. So this is uh, one of the nice hotels here in the, the Tanga region, Tanga area. Mkonge Hotel, Tanga. And this is the entrance to the hotel. So border border, these bikes you're seeing, very popular choice as well of transport for many people. And from this area, if you get a border border from here to town, it'll probably be anything from around 1,000 to 2,000 Tanzanian shillings one way. And then the, the bicycles, like what you see that just passed me here, you also have bicycle taxis. And from here to town, it will cost around 1,000 Tanzanian shillings. But just bear in mind, it will obviously be much more slower than the bus and the motorbike. So this is someone's property here, well fenced fenced around they, they they also got like a electric fencing at the top high security massage services here Renee Beauty Parlor and Spa they're even on Instagram Facebook Twitter from 9 a.m. to 6 to 8 p.m. 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. so you get a lot of these kind of uh, businesses in this section of town wow look at these mango trees Look at these mango trees. One thing in this region, you find a lot of mangoes. Especially when you go to the, mar the markets, it's in abundance. Fruits are in abundance here. Pineapples, mangoes, bananas, coconuts. So if, you, if, if you're a person that loves these type of fruits, you'll definitely be happy being in Tanga.
So this is a Zara residency. So it's an apartment block here in a Rasco zone. And they seem to have air conditioning as well. It seems to be very much well contained. And it's also very secure. They have surveillance, security guards, electric fencing. So I guess in the upper middle class and uh, people who earn a certain amount of income can afford to live in these places here. So we're coming up to what is known as the Rasco Zone Beach. And like I said, it's the entrance fee is 1,000 tan Tanzanian shilling to enter. And there's also a car park. And you get women outside selling tea and different snacks as well. Ice cream, ukwaju, ice lollies, all of that can be purchased outside before you actually enter the beach. And there's also some stores and many kind of businesses when you get inside as well. If you want to get chips or, or a drink, a bottle of water, all of that can be get inside also. So this is the car park here so if you're driving and you're wondering where you will park when you come here there is a car park available so these cars you see parked here they obviously came out the people came out to enjoy the day at the rascals on beach and these are the dala dala buses that usually wait for people to come out or dropping people off here in Rasco zone and these are the sellers here It's a small, very small police station here, Kitocha Police Rasko Zone. That's what it looks like. Doesn't seem like anyone's there at the moment. Don't know how much action they will get here. This is a very peaceful area. beautiful plants dotted around explore a little bit more of the area because the last time when I came I didn't give you all a uh, full tour of the place but there's also some hotels very near very close by so you can see just behind me that's where the beach is but if we follow the road onwards, that will lead me to the two hotels. Mama VP. That will lead me to two popular hotels, which is very near the Rasco Zone. I want to just give you a look of what that's like. So let me know what you guys are thinking so far. For those who used to live in Rasco Zone a long time ago, does it bring back any memories to you? Is the place, does it still look the same or has it changed over the years? Leave a comment section in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you.
But if you enjoy, you know, that lush, if you enjoy being surrounded by lush vegetation, greenery, then this section of town is a good choice. You've seen in my previous video that I did from street number one to street number 12 in Tanga City. But if you notice, there weren't much trees and greenery around. That's like a concrete jungle down there. But here, you notice it's, it's got more of that natural, natural, na nature, natural vibe. So this is the new Rasco Zone Hotel. These are some of the hotels in the area. I'm not going inside, but I'm just showing you what's around. And usually, if you might be wondering well, how much the price is, usually you're, taught, you're, taught, you're starting anywhere between around 40,000 to 50,000 Tanzanian shillings a night. And this is what it looks like here. So this is the new Rasco Zone Hotel. All right.